One homeowner's insurance company is taking dozens of Southwest Floridians to court. Thanks for sticking with us at 10. I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. People's Trust claims those homeowners broke their policies by repairing their own homes after Hurricane Ian. Wink News consumer investigative reporter Andrea Shepard told you about two homeowners battle with the insurer on Wink News at 6 tonight. Now she explains why one of those homeowners lawyers believes the state needs to get involved. Okay. Mary Stewart was overwhelmed when People's Trust slapped her with a lawsuit with nearly 200 pages of exhibits. Not only is she reminded of Hurricane Ian every day in the form of the damage that remains in her house, now she's being sued for trying to get her home back together. It's just too much. It's just too much. Like I said, the depression, I have to fight it every day because of the number of things coming my way. And every time something like this happens, it's like, one more thing. What People's Trust is saying in the lawsuit is that because Ms. Stewart uh, allegedly carried out some repairs in her home for damage to her home caused by Hurricane Ian, that they should no longer be able to, or be responsible for paying any part of her claim. Abedemi Oladipo of the Mumbarak Sharif and Oladipo law firm agreed to take Stewart on as a client. Before fighting for policyholders, he used to represent insurance companies, including People's Trust. Right now, he tells me the firm represents at least five people who People's Trust sued for repairing their homes with their own contractors. Once People's Trust invoked their right to repair through Rapid Response Team, that the individuals from People's Trust would tell the homeowner that, that Rapid Response Team could not get to their repairs for a period of 8 to 12 months, varying degrees from different clients. People's Trust told me they have an exclusive contract with the preferred contractor, Rapid Response Team, or RRT. On its website, it claims to be the state's largest insurance restoration general contractor, made up of more than 200 full-time employees that operate out of nine response centers around the state. People's Trust's chief operating officer told me both the insurance company and RRT are owned by the same person, People's Trust's president and CEO, George Schaefer. He also said the insurer received more than 12,000 Hurricane Ian claims. Which means as the homeowner, you're sitting there in your damaged home with a tarp on your roof trying to protect your family and your property. If they cannot perform the repairs within a reasonable period of time, you have to question why they invoked the right to repair on so many homeowners policies. So I brought these concerns to People's Trust. Initially, the company told me the chief operating officer, Tom Gallagher, would do an interview with me. But when he called, he was hesitant to talk on the record. I am doing a story on this, so I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to speak on the record about what's going on. Are you able to do an interview on the record? After a little back and forth, he agreed to go on the record by phone later that same day. Okay, sure. When, when, when does that work for you? Gallagher is no stranger to insurance in Florida. In fact, he was state insurance commissioner from 1989 to 1995 and again from 2001 to 2007. In 2008, he helped start an insurance agency, according to his bio on the People's Trust website. The website also says he's been a government consultant for the past five years for a law firm that specializes in insurance regulation and litigation. He joined People's Trust full-time six years ago. We don't take pleasure in suing our, our policyholders, I can tell you that. And it's a very small percentage that it happens in, but we do try to get claims settled as soon as possible. When we have people that aren't following what the contract says, we try to encourage them to get it get to go along with us. Why is People's Trust Insurance Company suing dozens of homeowners in just one county? If our, our policyholders don't follow what the contract, which is the policy, calls for, uh, and many times they, they don't follow it because they're given bad advice by a damage consultant, loss consultants, or a public adjuster, in some cases a lawyer, that tells them to do certain things and not follow what the policy says. It causes them not to get their home repaired the way it should be. So are homeowners supposed to wait a year after Ian hit in order for their homes to be fixed? We would hope not, and we'd rather not. He feels that bad advice from others is why People's Trust customers end up in court. We have the right to repair. We don't write checks. We repair the homes. 
And so that's what the policy says, and that's what we plan on doing. Regardless, Oladipo believes the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation should do some digging. So the question is, when will they be made whole? When would their home be restored back to its pre-loss condition? Florida Insurance Commissioner Michael Yavorsky told me his office is looking into it. And that's that's really what we're mostly we want to mostly look at is 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 whether or not the service is being performed is up to up to the standards that that, that one would expect to receive from their insurer. As for Stewart, her family will have to live in their Hurricane Ian damaged home until the lawsuit is resolved. She is not allowed to make any repairs. I don't understand why our government allows them to do stuff like this. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. I reached out to People's Trust President and CEO George Schaefer for comment. A spokesperson replied saying their policyholders see the preferred contractor endorsement as a quote, tremendous benefit since they don't need to scramble finding reliable contractors and service workers to complete work. And that their quote, affiliate rapid response team provides a 100% satisfaction guarantee on workmanship. I've reached out to several lawmakers about this clause and we'll bring you any updates. Back to you.